Now, straight out of RPD headquarters, Raccoon Police Department. I'm mean, joking. Anyway, um, I made something pretty cool, I guess. I Well, that's the thing. It may not be to you. It depends. Um, if you're someone who makes these, then you might like them. But the point is, is that when I was very younger, you know, five, you know, five years ago, six years ago, I used to. Well, my life was pretty shit and boring. You know, I had a PS2. Um, you know, PS3s are around. Didn't have one. PS1. You know the. Didn't buy any new games, it was pretty boring, you know, didn't have any new things to do. And, uh, you know, I was a big, big, big YouTuber anyway, so I found people, like, young kids like I was, making paper guns. And, you know, it was pretty fun at the time. And, you know, you may think, oh, that's so stupid, but it was actually pretty cool, you know, you could make guns that you liked, well, you tried to, out of paper. And it, it worked, and, you know, you messed around with them, it was fun. Anyway, out of tradition, or, or you know, out of out of you know the past or whatever, I made one last night, and um, I was using clear tape, and I ran out, so I had to use this fucking ultra tape, scotch tape, yes. So you can imagine white paper uh, with brown tape. So I ran out of clear tape and then I had to use this. So here it is at the moment. Now, yeah, it looks shit at the moment. You just take it all in for a start. So what I was originally making a Olymp Olympia from Call of Duty. That's just a double barrel shotgun, you know, because it's a, it's a over and under double barrel shotgun, so I thought it'd be easy to do. Turns out it's a lot harder to do a paper, so I thought, nah, I'll just do it. Do this. So what it is is a semi-auto style shotgun. It has the loading tube. And obviously it's not all refined black. I mean if you spray it back it looks so much better anyway. You've got the magazine tube which you know you can load the shells in. Here's a proof. It's just there's no release. So you, you I tried loading up a whole tube you just can't get them out, so you need to use like a, a jamming rod to jam it out. So that's just for show. This is just a toy shotgun shell that came with a toy shotgun I had ages ago. So obviously, pump shotguns are harder to make. Um, well, you could easily make that move, and when you pull it back, you have like a tube. You have like a little tube, and then it's attached to this, and it does that. As you saw that. So obviously with a semi-auto shotgun, what you do is you load it like a pump shotgun, you can load real shotgun shells in. It's just it's harder to do it. If it goes in, it's harder to get out. Because you have to... Literally, bent, like, well, the way I did it was I got it like this. And you you risk ripping the paper like that. So that's why I basically reinforced all this with tape. Now the annoying thing is I got into it and basically the guns that I made were a lot better than the ones that I saw on the videos. Like it was like paper AK-47 and it would look like long tube long tube sticking down and, and a tube like that and you know an AK-47 looks totally different um, you know most of you be out Call of Duty guns but you know I didn't design them from that but you can see it's harder to see because it's, cause it's brown and not clear so we've got the barrel here we have the you know the grip this is also the magazine tube here going down all the way to here which is actually open then we've got the, the actual grip here. We have the pistol grip, which is reinforced as well, but it's still a bit wobbly. Um, we, you know, the tube is actually cut properly, so you can load. Well, it's hard to see, but you can load these perfectly fine. 
it's very thin up here though, like you could see I do, the diameter is a bit different but you would not be able to get that in so they tend to get stuck about here and I did, I managed to lay about three in and I had to get the jam and jamming rod and literally jam it all the way down and I um, you know, push it all the way down so then I made, because it's a semi-auto I thought it would be easier to, you know, to do a semi-auto than a pump because then you got to make the um, the mechanism. Um, yeah, and also the the very nice guns that you can make, or the ones that you see on there, are made out of cardboard. No proper, like full on, not not like cardboard that you know you get from cereal boxes. I'm talking about full on cardboard that like that's industrial. And I swear they basically got an airsoft gun like this. And covered it in cardboard because like, it, it sounded like plastic because my dad was cocking it back. And you know, it said, it said, paper handgun. You go on it, it's a full on, you know, paper clock with springs, you know, a magazine with a spring in it, and you, you know, the, the fake bullets load onto it. You cock it back, and you know, it goes forward again, there's a spring, and it ejects the shells and everything. It's all cardboard and plastic, it's bollocks. You, this is a proper, you know, paper that's light, really light. So, anyway. Pump doesn't work. I have made a working pump one years ago, but it broke, fucking, because it was old. These these wear out. If you mess around with these and don't make videos and stuff with them, or mess around with friends, these wear out within a week or two. They just, you know, the paper gets thin or breaks. Anyway, so this is the bolt. Now, if you know, I don't know. I just sh I showed a video of me actually shooting an M um, a Benelli M4. The way you do do this is lock the bolt back, drop a, a shell in press the bolt release, it goes forward then you load the shells in, so I got three shots so drop the bolt, drop the bolt, load two in you fire, obviously the safety's off, you fire ejects the shell you know, onto the floor, goes forward again, loads a new shell the way it loads a new shell is when it goes forward um, a little, when it goes back, a little ramp The well, when it goes back um, a shell um, spring uh, out of here springs onto the rack that, that comes down and then when it goes forward it goes up uh, and the bolt carries it forward into the chamber which is what it's doing now, it goes into the chamber and you're thinking how did I do that, how did I make that do this, so basically the bolt, you pull it back, it doesn't go forward again, you just push it forward the way it is, is um, one of these toy shells taped onto this thing, I can show you. This is how I designed it to how to remove the bolt. What you do is you pull it back, you bend this a little bit to the point this is coming out, and then you push forward. You see, it's just a bolt there. You see the mechanism. So you could chamber around perfectly fine. You see how it's smooth there in the chamber? Um, and there's, there's room back here obviously for this to go back um, because if you seal this off you won't be able to put it back you just push that in like that push that forward and there you go I did have to chop a few bit of this off and a bit of this off just so it could be a bigger bolt because it only went back about this much so it was like it was like here and obviously this was covered up and it, it would only go like that so you wouldn't see the whole shell um, I could have used that and again, that'll be covered up. So, plus, you know, if I did spray this black, it shows that these are dummy rounds. They don't look like real bullet uh, shotgun shells, not bullets. And um, I don't have a 20 gauge shell somewhere, and it's much, it's much bigger than this. This is a 12 gauge. You know, for every shotgun fires basically. This is this. 20 gauge is a lot bigger than that, or a bit bigger anyway. So I know it looks crap, but that's because of the brown tape, so forgive me for that. Also the other feature I added is you probably haven't noticed it, but the extendable barrel. So it's a, it's illegal. If it was a real shotgun it'd be illegal length. 18 inches. It's about 12 inches without this. So yeah, it's another six inches. Just a gimmick, to be honest. It's just a roll up bit of paper. So, also when you put it in, it gets thin, it gets tighter, so it's harder to push it in, which is better. 
The only thing is, if you want to make a working shotgun, the way you'd have to do this is that you'd have to make a really thin tube, you make a cone shaped bullet type thing, a bit like this, which is a real bullet. Real, well, not a bullet, it's just a ram of ammunition. The bullet is this, and that's the casing. People say that's a bullet. Well, I just say it because of people who don't know about not about guns. Anyway, you sort of make this bit. This looks like it's coming out. Anyway, um, you make this but a lot longer, and you cone it so it, you know it's thin at the, the top. You get thicker as it goes down, and obviously as it catches the air. So you make a tube. You you you'd, you'd have this still. You do that. You you get like this and like that. And you put it in. You'd have the, the tubes. You close it up like this. The tube would come out the back. You extend it and you go. And it shoots it, and I have made a few of them working ones, but the trouble is, it ruins the make design of it. Um, because it, even though you may think this is a shit gun, it is designed like a you know, a shotgun. It's just the brown tape doesn't let you see that. It's a very small one. I don't want I don't want to use a lot of tape, a lot of tape and uh, paper. And yeah, I know it's shit, but it was just something that I wanted to do because I haven't made one since I was like. 10, you know, 9, even younger, I'm not even sure. Um, I did make I did make a pistol, it's a lot easier to make pistols. And you pull out a slide and there would be a chamber and everything, but I think it's downstairs somewhere. Um, I, do, I do have it still, I remember. Also, um, new review coming up soon, check that out. Alright. Um, check out my airsoft videos. You know, I do. I have fired real guns. I have fired, you know, airsoft. I fired a lot of guns. It's not just like, you know, I'm not just make this. I know people are going to make fun of me. I know people I know are going to laugh, but I don't give a shit. I, I did this because, you know, it was something I did when I was little, uh, you know, young. And I just wanted to do it again. And it's not that bad. It's better than what I did before. The only reason it looks so bad is because of the. The brown tape. A lot of the tape on here is actually clear. I mean, that's why I use clear tape because otherwise it sort of ruins the look of it. I mean, you can't. If it, on a camera, it looks just like a load of brown tape and some paper, which you're thinking, well, it is. It's not really because you know it's really sturdy. Um, it's points. You can point it like a shotgun. Um, you can actually load shells in the, in the into the tube. You can actually cock a shell in. Um, and yeah, you should see, honestly, you think mine are bad, you should see other people's on YouTube of what they made. It's funny. What they call MP5s and what they call, you know, what they call Glocks or whatever. You should see it, it's so funny. It's just a tube. One tube, one tube, glue it on there. Get another tube, glue it on there, now it's an MP5 or an AK. It's funny as hell. Um, but yeah, if, you know, if I had... Real machine, right? I could make a real one of these. Thing is, you'd think, oh, you know, a lot of my guns use no button parts. The trouble is, making it out of paper is hard because it's, yeah, it's pliable, but there's only a certain strength it can go to before you, you know, you do it. Like this grip was so hard to, you know, to make strong. With clear tape, I'd, use, I'd have to use double. It's actually got clear tape wrapped around it as well. And there's a lot of, a lot of brown tape there, and that's stronger. Just doesn't look as good, but just a gimmick. And I may spray it black and show you what it looks like black because I'm telling you, spray black looks better. Obviously, I didn't do a trigger and a trigger guard because you know, just so you know, if you don't know what a trigger guard is, it's that and a trigger is that, obviously, because those are very brittle with paper. And to make them look good enough, you use a lot more paper, and they still break, especially when you're holding it wrestling around. Um. Show you my uh, shotgun. It's got it's, these are real shotgun shells. I just crimped the edges down again. There's nothing in them. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys later in the next video. And yeah, check out my other stuff videos. Thanks for watching.